Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you are doing well. My name is Jacob Restituto, and I'm a musician from Northport, New York. And if you've been around on the channel for a bit, you probably heard me talk about this topic and probably similar concepts within this topic before. Uh, so I've talked about a lot uh, anxiety and my, my battle with anxiety and how I used to like have panic level, panic attack level anxiety, and it's been getting better and better and better and better. And now, well, being that the fact that I've made so much progress, I like to talk about it. And even even as I was making progress, I like to talk about it because I like to. Uh, I hope that you know my struggles can help other people overcome their struggles. Um, and I, I had a really interesting week recently where I was reflecting on it, and I kind of wanted to share what the things that I learned in that reflection. So in that week, I had these like kind of older anxieties that came up randomly like i hadn't struggled with them in a long time and immediately it's 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 funny how we immediately go to fear and i, I want to change that going forward like i don't want to immediately go to that fear but the fear is like why did they, they come up am i going to struggle with them in the future is it resurfacing did i not deal with them properly all this all these questions you know and i was kind of thinking about it after the fact and i and and it was funny because i looked back and i was like hold on there's actually a couple of examples of things that I could find to be grateful for that scenario that came up. Uh, and that's kind of what I want to share on because you can either get upset at the fact that, you know, you're struggling with these things. And look, there's definitely reasons to be upset, but it's also, I think, always opportunity to find gratitude in the situation. And that's what I tried to do. And honestly, your life is so much happier when you do. Um, but these random triggers, old triggers came up. And I, I like I said, I immediately went to this whole like place of like, where did this come from? Why am I struggling with this again? But there's a couple things that I want to talk about. The first thing is, it really gave me the opportunity to reflect on how long it's been since those triggers came up previously. And I was like, oh, okay, you know what? That's actually really cool. Like, it may have been six months. I don't even know the last time, say, that I, I, I had struggled with that thought or that kind of thought process or, you know, that anxiety. And it's like... That was really cool to kind of recognize. It's like, well, when was, because sometimes I'm like, oh man, I feel like, I'm, why am I still struggling with this? But then I'm like, when was the last time I actually thought about it? And it kind of, sometimes these painful reminders, I guess it's, it's like a painful reminder of the progress to some degree. Uh, but not only that, it's, I also was really interested to think about how fast I was able to move forward from it. Like, you know, what, what may have been uh, uh, taking me out for like a day or two days or three days now is maybe an hour or a couple of hours or even sometimes a couple of minutes and i was just saying that the feeling that might have lasted for hours didn't you know and then that was really cool to to uh to realize you know and, and then not only that but it just like i said it, it gave a really cool perspective on the the, the distance and I, one of the things that i i think that it, it's almost comparable to like say exercise right if you run a mile once and then you, you you know you're always training but then you never time yourself again that whole time for that mile it's like you'll never know how you are compared to your others like the previous you you know you can it's hard to gauge progress right so to some degree it's almost like a progress gauge where i was like able to be like okay actually i am making progress because if like i said if it took this long for me to deal with it last time now it's only taking this long or it's been this long of time since i've struggled with it and the reason I, I bring all this up is because I, I think that it's really important to, you know, recognize the progress as it's happening because I think that it's so easy to get caught up in the fact of why am I still struggling? You know, it, am I getting better? Am I not? Am I just in a rut? And, and look for opportunities to be like, oh, that actually is me getting better. Oh, that actually is progress. Um, and I, I think that, you know, it's it's really going to help you and encourage your, the, the hope and faith that you actually will get better. So uh, as somebody that has struggled for a long time, uh, I want to share that with you guys and progress, uh, you know, progress, practice makes progress. You keep getting better each day uh, at a time. So hope you got, hopefully you guys uh, <laughs> enjoyed that and, and help that helped somebody. Um, I really feel like there was a new idea that I want to share because I had this idea yesterday that, that came to me and I can't really remember it but I still wanted to film the video because I didn't want to give up on the video because I think I thought that there was you know still gems in there but I was like well, what I feel like this one knowledge but maybe it wasn't meant to be shared at the moment <laughs> unless I already shared it and I just it was it had just been in, it felt new and fresh in the moment but maybe it was one of those things that I had already thought about previously and I just expressed I don't know regardless so I hope, hope that helps somebody uh, because and also let, to let somebody know that you're not alone you know you're not the only person that struggles with anxiety and uh, there's a lot of people out there that struggle with it and, and finding help in whatever way best fits for you is a great way whether it be you know 
there's so many options out there, you know, and you don't have to always go the conventional route that you have to make a decision that goes the best for you. So hopefully that helped with somebody. Thank you so much for watching and uh, it will get better. I promise.